So I'm back with another video of some Armid Fibre goodness, so let's get into it. What's up guys, welcome back to Michael's Tag Talk. So big shout out to Binks. Binks have sent me across their latest Armid Fibre cases. So we have the Armour Air and we have the Armour Pro. And I'm here for it because if you haven't caught my best Armid Fibre video, for the 14 Pro Max. I'll leave you a link in the description down below. You can check it out after you watch this video. But if you haven't checked that video out, I rated Binx's case as maybe one of the best all-rounders in that video. And these are the new versions. So I'm excited. So let's check these out. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. So that's the Armour Pro. I know I've sort of said Armored Fiber, but uh, Banks kind of have these down as, you know, being Kevlar, tomato, tomato. And there is the Armor Air. Mm-hmm. So, these cases are very, very familiar. Um, if you have followed my channel and I have done Armored Fiber videos before. This is very similar to the Maggie Z3 from Pataka. So this is the slimmest lightweight version. Um, no mag safe in this case? What? Where is my magnet paper? Because I'm, I, 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 I can't be having this. Oh, oh no. Oh, well that's disappointing. That's really disappointing. Because this case looks absolutely awesome. Look at this, that, 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 camera, that camera guard is all metal. That is premium as what? But look, no MagSafe. No party. No MagSafe, no party. We have MagSafe on the Pro version though. So, phew. But, oh man, I'm really disappointed in that. But, hey ho, we'll crack on. So let's just weigh this. So the Armour Air is 21 grams. So it's super lightweight, super thin, super lightweight. And the Armour Pro is 41 grams. So there's 20 grams of a difference. So pretty much you're getting a, a full bumper around the case and metal buttons. Um, that's the real difference here, 20 grams. So let's start off with the Armour Air. Do you know what, man? I'm really, really disappointed about that. That's really bummed me out. I mean, like, it is a really nice looking case. That camera guard as well, like, look at that. That is premium AF. Like, it is so premium looking. And it's just, I'm, I'm disappointed in that. But I digress. Unlike the Pataka version where, um, you know, you do have exposed parts at the top and the bottom, the bottom of the phone and the top are covered. And the only thing that is exposed is the buttons on the side. That's not too bad, actually. You've got these little uh, cuts in each of the bottom and top. That's to sort of help you leverage the case off. Decent enough. Uh, screen lip, yeah, it's non-existent, but that's not what this case is about. This is a slim, lightweight case. It's not really going to protect you if you set that face down. It's but the camera bump, uh, the lenses don't protrude out, and that that's a full metal camera bump, and I, I love that. That's really premium. But sadly, no mag safe. No mag safe. That's literally picking up the magnets from the phone. And that's not. You hit a bump in the car, that's falling off. Man, I'm really disappointed in that. But let's get on to the Armour Pro. So, this is more my type of case. So, I like cases where all ends are covered. I like 
quality buttons and these are metal buttons as well and the buttons were one of my most favorite things on the previous version in my previous video and these look to be just as good so here we see on the side we have our banks logo and we have our lock button here which is this brushed metal and then we have our brushed metal volume buttons as well and then we have our cutouts for the us or <laughs> usbc not yet we have our cutouts for the lightning port and the speakers and then it's totally sealed at the top which is really nice so the camera guard Camera guard is just plastic on this one. I would have loved to have seen that camera guard on this case. Because it would, like, how good would that look with those buttons? It'd be so nice. Disappointed. But I love that sort of, that's on armored fiber, that's kind of like what they call the 1500D pattern, which is really nice. It's small, it's sleek. And then this, this bumper at the side has sort of got like a silicone Tight finish to it so you've got a wee bit of grip to it as as it sort of wears on i think um it should get a wee bit of grip here but it's pretty good and then on the inside then we have our built with kevlar and then our magsafe ring which is lovely so let's just pop this phone in this case is so nice ah uh, so it's sleek it's slimline it feels really good listen to these buttons How good are they? Top quality screen lip. Then, so you get a slight lip up over the display, so it is raised up. So if you do set it down, your screen is gonna be up off the surface. It's not a massive lip, but it's good enough. And then on the back, camera lenses, the camera lenses don't protrude out of that bump. So if you set that down, it's not, it's not gonna scrape up those lenses, which is good. But no, it feels good. It feels slim, lightweight. And uh, yeah, that's really, really nice. Like most sort of armored carbon Kevlar type cases, you are gonna get fingerprints on it, but nature of the beast. Carry a microfiber cloth, you'll be fine. Let's get on to the MagSafe test because the MagSafe on the previous version of this case was fantastic. It was so good. So I am expecting big things from this one. So let's hope it's good. It's definitely better than the Air version anyway. No mag safe, no party. So, here we go. Oh man, look at this! Top notch! Oh man! Perfection. Look at that. Oh, what a case. What a case. That is perfect. Perfect MagSafe. Fantastic. Do you know what? That's gonna be a that's gonna be a tough choice over the uh Pataka Maggie Z Pro. That's a real good case. What do you guys think? So yeah, guys, if you're interested in picking this up, I will leave you a link in the description down below. Links help support the channel, but they don't cost you guys any more money. So if you do use one of my links, thanks for your support. So what do you guys think? Which is your favorite? Do you prefer the air or the armor? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know what is your favorite. That about wraps up this video, guys. Hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button for me and don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that little bell to be notified of new videos just like this one. Uh, keep it locked to the channel. If you want more tech review and accessory videos, you know where to come. And until the next one, I'll catch you later.